Hey everyone, and welcome back. Do you ever wonder what's going on in this awesome, beautiful looking Enviolo automatic CVT hub that we have on our Rush City rear wheel? Well, if you do, in today's video, I'm gonna explain its functionalities by pairing it with the Enviolo app, which is available to all smartphones. So, this video applies only to our Rush City model because that is where our hub is found while the Mosh City is a single speed. Let's check it out. Now before we start, I want to emphasize that fresh out of the box, your bike's Enviolo automatic hub does not need to be adjusted to work properly. The hub will automatically change gears for you, which translates to the simple riding style the Rush City provides. Additionally, all the factory settings the hub is programmed with are set to a comfortable level, but if you do want to customize your hub settings, I will be showing you exactly how to do that in these next few steps. The first step you need to do is install the Enviolo app onto your phone by going to the App Store or Equivalent, searching for Enviolo Automatic, and then downloading it. Then make sure your phone's Bluetooth is turned on. Next, open the Enviolo app on your phone. After the welcome screen, the app will display a connection request. Turn on your display by clicking the on-off key. Press and hold the white button on the Enviolo hub for five seconds, after which it will begin blinking blue. It is important to ensure you aren't near another Serial One e-bike that is turned on while pairing, as they can interfere with each other. The hub name should now appear on your phone screen in the Enviolo app. Select the hub to begin the pairing process. After the pairing is complete, a menu will appear showing options including configuration, diagnostics, logistics, and dashboard. Let's run through what each of these options entails. Configuration allows you to adjust the ride mode, units, operation mode, manual gear, desired target cadence, and starting gear ratio. The ride modes you can select between are Eco, which prioritizes battery life, Comfort, suits most type of riders, and Sport, provides the most accurate shifting for a more aggressive rider. Units can be changed between Metric and Imperial. Operation mode can be switched between manual and automatic. To use the hub's gears manually, simply select the gear you desire between one and nine, one being the easiest gear and nine being the hardest. Cadence can be changed by sliding the bar to increase or decrease your desired revolutions per minute. A good way to find your desired cadence is to start at 50 RPMs and increase or decrease with steps of five to 10 RPM until you find a comfortable setting. And finally, a comfortable starting gear ratio is between 0.7 and 0.9. But the best way to find the perfect ratio for you is to start at 0.5 and increase with steps of 0.1 until it feels natural for you. Moving on to the diagnostics tab, this will pull up the owner's manual a quick start video from Enviolo like this one, and lastly the hub status, which includes the odometer and errors reported if there are any. The logistics tab includes standard information about the app version, your hub interface, and personal information. Lastly, the dashboard allows you to change the operation mode by tapping the top left corner. This means that you can manually change your gears Or, when using automatic, you can adjust your cadence. This is a useful feature when initially setting up the bike to become familiar with its functionalities and to find a comfortable target cadence. I hope you all are now confident when changing the Enviolo hub settings within the Enviolo app. And if you do have any more questions, hop over to Serial1.com, the support page. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time.